This tutorial will walk through the steps to create a patient claim. If the patient does not already exist in the system, they will need to be created by clicking the Create Patient button on the home screen. We will open an existing patient to show you how a completed patient record will look. In this example, the person has both a primary and secondary insurance. Once the patient information has been entered, a claim can be created. There are many ways to start a claim, but the simplest is to click the Add Claim button on the patient search pane. This will open a new claim screen and pre-populate information such as the diagnosis codes and physician library entries based on the patient record. Notice the bill to is set to the primary payer. To see additional payers, you can use the drop-down arrow or, for even more detail, click the button next to it for complete insurance information. Before we get into adding service line information, let's talk about the different areas of the claim screen. At the top left, you have the Bill To field. This determines who the claim is being billed to. In this case, it's a primary claim. Once the primary payment has come in, this will automatically switch to secondary. Below that is the prior authorization number. This field will show the words auth available if an authorization number is available for this patient and this date. Click the drop-down arrow to see the available authorizations. Next, we have date of current, which in this case was populated from the patient record. Then the diagnosis codes. We've provided both letter and number labels to make it easier to reference. Below the codes are the calendars that make it easy to add dates of service. Simply click a date and add a new service line. The claim template dropdown selects the template used when clicking a calendar date. In this case, it sets to previous service. This means when a date is clicked on the calendar, the most recent service line will be used to create the new service line. This is useful when a patient has repeat visits for the same procedure code. Other options include no template, previous claim, or an existing claim template. The right side of the screen is the claims information grid. It holds all the other fields that may be associated with the claim. The grid groups fields into categories to help organize the data and make it easier to find the field you're looking for. This grid is customizable and fields can be added, removed, or organized as needed. Some people might not like seeing the facility field, so they would remove it from the grid. Two other fields worth mentioning are status and method. The status field starts at ready to submit, but can be changed if needed. The program will automatically change to submitted once the claim has been printed or exported. Other and on hold are two other options. The method field is automatically populated based on the bill to payer. Payers can be classified as electronic, paper, or other in the payer library. This helps when the primary claim can be sent electronically, but the secondary needs to be done on paper. The lower half of the screen shows the service line information. The first row is a preview row that shows information that will be added to the grid if the calendar or add button is clicked. Depending on the claim template selected, this row may be disabled or blank. Let's add a few dates and see what happens. As you can see, two lines of service were added for the two different dates clicked. If needed, we can edit the service lines by clicking in the cell and changing data. To look up a procedure code, double-click in the Procedure Code field. Double-click the new code to select. The lookup window will close and the new code and charge will be entered. We can then tab over and change the modifier, diagnosis pointer, or any other piece of data. The service line grid is customizable as well. If you need to include descriptions with your service, this can be done by adding the service line description field. Once added, enter text to print in the shaded area of the 1500 form. At any time, you can click the Save button to save your work. At the bottom of the screen are the claim notes. These notes are for your reference and are not printed or sent with claims. You will see two types of notes here, system notes and user notes. System notes are automatic notes entered by the system when the claim is created or edited. As you can see, the claim created note was entered when the claim was saved. User notes are entered by users. 
Notice when the note is added, a little X appears on the left. User notes can only be edited or deleted by the user who created them. System notes cannot be edited or deleted by anyone. Note visibility is set using the Hide Notes button at the right. You can hide the notes, expand the notes, or shrink the notes. The program will remember your preferences, so you only need to set this once. Last but not least is the ribbon bar. Whenever a claim is open, the claim menu will appear. Here you can perform a variety of actions, such as creating a new claim, payment, or task. Open the patient, list any existing tasks, or make the claim a recurring one. You can also copy this claim to another patient or save it as a template. When you're done with the claim, click the Save and Close button to return to the home screen. The claim is now ready to be printed or exported electronically. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact us or visit easyclaim.com.